Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Previously on Danganronpa, we completed the fifth trial. Now we've entered the main game, and we're after the mastermind. The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused a tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game, and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the Mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. Not really, we still actually have like a pretty vague idea who it is. I also think we're simplifying their motivations too much. But right now... Anyway... But right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story could come after. Yeah, you're right. Lock, but we have to wait. Have a way to open this door. Use the rocket. That's a rocket and tank. No, I seem dialogue. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room. Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vile part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey, Kyoko. We can use that key of yours to open this door, right? Of course we That's can, true. right? Let's go, right? Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Yes, it opened. Indeed. When did we try that before? We had to like go through all this useless dialogue. Now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Finally. We were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Ultimate pain. Ultimate suffering. Ultimate despair. Ultimate execution. Ultimate death. You can tell it's serious because we're all posed like we're on a Star Wars cover. After leaving the garbage pit, I mean the trash compactor, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up, like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Oh, nice censoring there. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into the darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea where we, we were so far down. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. In fact, you'll probably just hit me on the way down and be really awkward. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Just start singing the Snake Eater song in your head. Maybe out loud, too. Still a dream! Maybe talking will help me keep my mind off of it. Well, it's the same thing. Um, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. At age two, I was trying to solve the mystery of who took the candy. It was me. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But... How come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... You probably keep out the limelight. Right. Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things. And to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of the society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal ourselves from existence. 
Which is why we made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. What I sometimes wonder is if there's two different artists, one for character art and one for CGs. Or is it just the artists changing their style for the sake of um, ease in drawing expressions? But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose, to protect the pride of her family. However, and yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride and technically saved our butts. The reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak. It was because that's how much you want to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect. I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. You Did you come here to arrest him? But you've been reuniting after all those years, right? You have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There is something I want to say to him, though. What? You're a terrible dad. I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him. Face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. I was fresh on the case of the missing cake. Turns out it was me. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future. However... But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died. And he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument. And as young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him for not taking me. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder. So I wasn't able to see her expression, so I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However... But there's one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as a little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him. And tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But, but, your family. They just come out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood. Nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood. Not by heart or soul. 
I was so shocked to hear her say something like that. I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. Dream snake eater. After I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of this door, Hobus Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground in the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reach my right hand up and push against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... Oh, we're here! The hatch finally came back to us. Looks like we're back. But I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope Speak Academy. Kyoko, thank you! I never would have gotten out of there without you. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. So, now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course. But if the mastermind finds out... And I'm worried about you, too. You helped me, so they might... Listen. You're worried? Y yeah, of course. This is war now. So then. Don't worry. It's all in now, from here. And let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words... Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. W wait, that's... However... If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we find out. And it's not like we can run away. There technically is no rule about not escaping. As she said that, she pointed out the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now. Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before. What does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Makoro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. It'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little... No, I'm super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Teddy, I'm coming for you. It's my job as a cop. We gotta sell this. Bear to bear. Man bear to man bear. A joke that makes no sense and is going nowhere to get a joke that's making no sense but some might go somewhere someday. Come out, Teddy! Kyoko, I don't mind so much. I don't believe it! You don't believe it? Huh? But Kumakoto is supposed to be dead. What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. But you're the guilty party. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. Making me angry. But now I gotta punish you again. And this time I won't leave anything to chance. One final trial. We prove you're the murderer, that you get executed. 
Kill, kill, kill. Do whatever you feel you have to. What? However. But before you do, let me just say one thing. Yeah. If you execute Makono, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? I lose. Because if you're forced by the rules of the game, and Makoto's not the black end, and you are... Well, no, then the black end usually escape. Well, maybe there's no escaping from Monokuma. I lose? Hey! You, explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set the latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you want an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as a black and, and then executed, right? Mm. Hey, what are you talking about? However... But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blacken and trying to execute him. Maybe it's a weird roundabout rule, because Kyoko's not the killer, but if Makoto's set up to be the killer, mechanically, then M Kyoko's supposed to be the one to be executed, and then if you execute anyone else, then everyone loses, including Monokuma. So that's why Monokuma declares Makoto is the killer. You made the choice out of desperation. No more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However, or I just used a coin. Thank God for Hero. But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter Ego. You never imagined the possibility of a being that could come to our aid, even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Makuro. You did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Blacken is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Hmm. Huh. And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Blacken is me and not Makoto. Well? And you can prove this, right? Well. No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. <laughs> what is this? A comedy routine? Make such a bold claim about a shred of evidence. That doesn't matter. I don't have it in right now. With a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there's only ever one absolute truth. And now you're talking, trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type. Well, technically... Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have been feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you so love to inspire. However... But here we are. Confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence. Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Yeah, don't ruin Monokuma Theater. I love that show. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Hey. You seem a little off-level, Teddy. Why don't you just grin and bear it? Of course, you could say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, we have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair, fair and square, That's what we have to do. then I suggest you take my advice. So, 
What is this advice of yours? It's true. Do McCurl's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial. One last showdown. In other words, this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Makuro's killer. Of the mastermind themselves. Wow, so everyone really is gonna escape. It makes sense, I suppose, because if we would have anyone escape and live, it'd be everyone who's left. Because Hero is your comedy relief. Um, Swimming Girl is basically to kind of even out the gender gap. We don't count Toko. Toko's too crazy. Toko's kind of a comedy relief, too, with the personality switch, and Byakio is kind of a foil and an alternate detective. And you can't take out Kyoko because Kyoko's an elite character. But everyone else was sacrificable, in a sense. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. They're bound by the rules. <laughs> Interesting. Finally, you said a bear pun! Very interesting indeed. Barry. What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored. So I just had to change things up a little. So, time for bear jokes. Now, what you've suggested might be possible. It would certainly make for one honey of a climax. In other words. Does that mean you accept? You guys better be there. I hope you guys don't get the hives. If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> Will your hope win out, or will my despair claim victory? I've been waiting for this. Let's have one fun of Grizzly Showdown. He agreed. And we still have a shot at this. Bear it. But this is a long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting in. You can't like reuse the same bear thing. Guys. So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. That's cheating. All the mysteries. <laughs> you just use paw again. That's right. Every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can do that, I can myself. then that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. There you go. You're mixing it up a bit. It's true. You know, we might as well just say it. This trial's gonna be pandemonium. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Makuro's death, and solve the mysteries of the school. Guys! Then you win. <laughs> but if you can't do all that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? You could have said despair! <laughs> We're excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this all has turned out. Plus all the bear puns have finally surfaced. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm, that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but a bear is repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. And having a trial for Makuro is no exception to that. Huh? Makuro's trial is no exception. Then, it's part of the regulations. Which would have to mean that whoever killed Makuro... <laughs> It's a very polarizing approach, I know. 
But okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people who take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? What do you go quite a son? Now I'm really angry! He's going berserk! I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. You can go back to the Shadow Run. So get lost, would ya? Why so mad? You mad, bro? <sighs> While well, we're making references in the dialogue? He seems emotionally unstable. Hey. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. I just... You're really gonna let me go? Huh. I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment. Overflowing with despair. <laughs> hey. Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Okay. Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. And the dead of the coin. Kyoko! Oh, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However. Don't think me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. <sighs> but still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the Mastermind let their guard, let down their guard. Reaction. So when was it the Mastermind let their guard down? During the trial. So... No, actually no Kyoko wasn't there. I wasn't there to hear it myself. But do you know what the Mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school after the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so... unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However, and yet somehow, the Mastermind was able to do it. In other words... But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something like that difficult. A reason. So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost. Us killing each other. They wanted to show the world. It would seem... The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other, and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove... a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? We're the hope of the nation. That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair. The Masterman wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. So they're a Sith Lord. And they want to prove we can all fall to the dark side and even the best of the best can be corrupted. That's our goal, as the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But 
That... that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right. It is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Can you imagine like an Illuminati group like that just kind of going, You know, we can cause a lot of despair if we cut off the world's donut supply. Excellent. Put it through. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet... That same motivation is what led to the Mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the Mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least... At least, that's how those who are watching us would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind could kill any of us themselves. Indeed. That's precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of the regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, it can lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all their proper rules, to get me killed. They began to trial they didn't have a right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the Mastermind took yet another risk. They intended to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the Mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope. They have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It would only do the Mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. Well, that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the Mastermind to accept your challenge. However... Well, it's only thanks to you that we got another chance. Because you believed in me, and our path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. You could say I had a negligible idea. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> looks like I got that right. This time, at least I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seem totally confident from the moment we decide to go talk to him. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiating persuasion. When did you say? Plus, if I show my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Our detective skills, Byakuya's cynical detective skills, Hero's coin. Um, Toko's kind of there. Along with Swim Girl. The cheering from the sidelines. Work together with everyone. However, is that really possible? Huh? Anyway. Right now we have to go find the others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Dining room? So everyone usually hangs out, right? And suddenly, we were greeted with... You again. Binga bunga. Is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. 
The robot can't handle all the anger it has. I don't know if they can set in that. Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah! Is that you guys! Makoto? You guys! Oh, thanks, Makoto. I already said that. It is. There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto. Huh? You survived? Jeez, you're like a stubborn little cockroach. You know that. Even Biaki was happy to see me in his own little way. I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Your coin saved me, you stupid bastard. Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces. I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. I'm actually turning up in real life a little bit too. It's weird. What? These little moments always get to me. Just like Persona. Like all those little scenes of your social links and your friends saying goodbye. Can't handle that stuff, man. Warms my icy heart. Wait. What's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man. That seriously stinks. Ah. It's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. That's not a terrible smell, is it? <laughs> get, get away! And in the flash, my tears dried up. Yo, Makoto, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. You know? Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss hmm. Cleo. No, I didn't talk to her. I, I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? Well, you really don't get that. I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. Do you realize why it is you escape execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say they've had their lives saved by a computer program. Hmm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Thanks. So, what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Mm. Well, we figured that since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And... Aww. No dice. All the rooms that were locked before, were still locked. Not any more of this key! So there weren't any new areas. Then, where can we go to find new clues? <laughs> you, you stink. Are you rotten? I'm telling you! Rotten physically? Mentally? Is there a way you can be rotten? Sorry. I was rolling around in the garbage for a while. <laughs> the smell is so smelly. <laughs> Super smelly. You smell even worse than me. Way worse than me. <laughs> I win. She seems happy for some reason. Let's not dwaddle on that. Makoto. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain. Explain what? Hmm. Is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. Reaction. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Makuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? K Hero, don't throw me under the bus. No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer. And of course, it's not me or any of you. Mm -hmm. Then who is it? I see. What she's saying is, it was all the work of the mastermind. Mm -hmm. What? You're saying the mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the Mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time. It did what he had to do to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What? what did you say? You spotted the trap. Did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know... Flip two coins. However... But executing Makoto, who wasn't the Blacken, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the Blacken is to be executed. The Mastermind broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have a trial one more time. Huh? 
And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? Hmm. They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to get the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. <laughs> so knowing all of this, this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Makuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But... but we've been looking around all this time. We still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You've probably guessed already. If we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, no! I mean, it's been the same, like, that's been, like, the goal, like, every time, isn't it? Because we picked the wrong person, we all die anyway. Hey, who said you could agree to those to terms without talking to the rest of us? I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here with, with a master. We already saw that outcome. You don't live. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. At this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. Hm. Interesting. In other words, one decides the final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. Right up your alley. Forget who the mastermind is, and how they killed Makuro, and all the school's mysteries. It's a pretty tall freaking order. Maybe. This time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? Bye. Reaction. I can't agree. You can agree. Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too, at first. Because you suspect one of us is the mastermind. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? So, in other words, if the mastermind really is the one who killed Makuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Makuro, but there's no way he could have disguised a scene like that. In other words, but according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. Then, the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. And then Makuro and you get 16. So the mastermind would have to be one of them. That's right. Now, those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Did I continue, or do you get it now? What? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way! You can't be serious. Wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. Monaco might have just said that all that to confuse us. Indeed. It's certainly a possibility. But only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair. So they must be a high schooler. We can't say it's not possible. I feel like Teddy dropped that hint just to kind of screw us up since we don't work together. I mean, it's a legitimate hint, but I feel like it's dropped in a way that, you know, it's obviously a cause of sense. But if one of us was the mastermind, it'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious any time Monokuma was active? Well. Maybe they snuck off and pulled him in secret. But. I don't care how sneaky you are. We wouldn't know someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? 
And maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and ashes beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if he directed the flow of the conversation. W maybe, but still. Ding a bing a bing a bing. Shut up, Teddy. We're taking you down to the shadow realm. Uh, this is a school announcement. That's a little off key. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> hmm? How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But, but... I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely only on myself, on the Tokami blood flowing through my veins. <laughs> I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Right. Well then, after making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. <laughs> Do you really think Toko, our hero, is capable of being a mastermind? A swim girl? I don't ever remember her name. He didn't take me w with him. Do you blame him? <laughs> without Master, the rest of you are like... Coffee with cream without the cream. Or c coffee Yuck! You're totally useless. <sighs> so bye. With that, Toko trudged out of the dining hall. And now, she's gone. And you're gonna go off by yourself. Right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. In that case, I'm gonna go by myself too. Good luck with that. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing loudly, Hero left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Mm. I guess I'll do the same thing. But... I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? I just don't trust them. Because, I mean... But, up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depend on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Well, Koto! <laughs> That's really nice of you to say. But still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. So I figure, at least you're at the end. Maybe I can figure find something that'll help us all get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> See you later. Hina was in a surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out on the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. Well, we both know we're not masterminds, so... So, you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? However... Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately, doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as us splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right! So then... Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Monokuma said all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Lakota. No matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste, either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind may be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove the Mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the Mastermind's true identity, and solve the mystery of this school. And then we can all escape together. 
I guess I'll start by taking a look at Makuro's Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, and for hype music, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Makuro Ikusama, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So, where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get started. It's time for me to solve the final cop mystery.